Okay, so I sold my car. So, of course, let's just talk about that real quick. I love the car, everything. The car was great. Um, but, you know, money talks. And whenever you get a chance to make money, on top of the fact that I, sp I made less amount of payments than what I got paid for it. And I still have the supercharger so I can still sell it and make more money on that. Um, it was just, for me, it was just like, you know what? That's a good deal. I can't pass that up. And, you know, I went ahead and sold the car. Now, like I said, the car was great and everything. And I would have kept it if it wasn't for a deal like that. But I got something else. And I didn't want to go um, the financing route. That means I didn't want to make no monthly payments or anything. I want to save some money because we're about to you know get out of this place move out probably i'm not even sure if i'm gonna stay in houston but um probably moving um soon so we're looking for a house um but i got something else i got i got a daily driver and it's a car that i've been that i've always liked i've always you know always admired and um it was one of my favorite cars as a child and we had a similar car to it and I finally got the car. I paid cash for it, no monthly payments. The title's mine, the car's mine, everything's good. So let me just go ahead and show you the car. So here it is, it's a 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. And um, just, just so you know, you're not freaking out of why I have the jack. Um, one of the things I did was straight just I went and painted the and I'm sorry you can hear the whole helicopter I, I hate recording outside because there's always that but um I went ahead and painted the the steel wheels uh gloss black they kind of looked a little bit worn out um and right now I'm just finishing the last one but this is a car man like it's in really good shape uh barely any like small stuff like that it's really not you know not really scratched up or anything the paint's taken care of has little things that would probably be the only thing but i know they have like a hole filler that you could just put in because the other side has it um this is the only wheel that came gloss black and the other ones um the, i just painted so i'm just waiting for it to dry up just a bit more i don't mind that it touches the uh, you know that part because that's going to be covering any anyway i just don't want to touch the rest of the wheel so i'm just going to let it dry just a bit more but I went ahead and washed it and it's looking clean um, I can show you the interior and I'm working on the interior right now because uh, this little part right here I'm painting it gloss black so I'm gonna show you a final final look to it anyway but the seats are taken care of um, this is how they came by the way so uh, I mean it's clean they vacuumed it um, and all, all I all I did was come and detail it in the you know in the interior obviously I haven't haven't got to this part because it's usually hidden but um yeah we have everything here man like your car is great like i said um it has it has quite a bit of miles it's not a lot but um it has a hundred and a hundred and sixteen thousand miles and um i got it for a really good deal so on top of the fact that you know it's probably one of the lowest miles that i've found so far and one of the less idling hours as well um, it was just a good deal. So for me, it was just like, you know what? I'm taking it. And this is going to be my daily. I'm not going to put wheels on it. I love the look of the cop look. So I'm not going to mess with wheels. I'm not going to put any aftermarket parts. I'm not going to mess with the engine. Probably probably the exhaust and stuff like that. Maybe an intake just so it could suction air better. But I'm not going to do anything serious like a supercharger or anything like that. This car has 120,000 miles. Or 100, I'm sorry, 116,000 miles. So um, it obviously i'm not gonna put money into a car that's been ran that much it's really not that reliable i mean the motor's great this, i know that the motor this one is known for being really good at handling uh up to 200 250 000 miles and still runs just fine so i just did a uh, oil change today i just went ahead and knocked it out today is my first day of owning it i bought it yesterday uh, drove it home and today I started working on it so it's washed up and everything like I said 
Um, now, I already went ahead and ordered uh, new headlights. It comes with the corner ones as well. Because I'm not even going to bother trying to fix them. I'm just going to buy new ones. They're cheap anyway. That's one thing I love about this car. Anything I want to do is kind of cheap. So let me just kind of do it like this so you could get a better view. But um, yeah, uh, that right there, I'm just going to go ahead and um, and I, I just bought new ones. And I got LEDs, so I'm not going to mess with the yellow lights. I hate yellow lights. So LEDs are just going to be just fine. Um, this light works. Um, the only issue I have with it is when you turn it, it kind of disconnects and it turns off. So I have to open it up and find out how the wiring is set. Because when I turn it, it turns off. So um yeah that's just something that i need to find out uh how it was done and stuff like that but yeah but i mean as far as that the the car is great like i said i'm gonna show you the interior so here's the weird thing um ow i hit my arm ow horn doesn't work why because the horn's here <laughs> that's crazy um which is just fine actually that that I kind of like that because that means I can mess with this wheel and get an uh, aftermarket one. And um, I'm probably going to change this out because there's no buttons in here. That's anything that's important that cover that controls it. Uh, one of the reasons why I never messed with the 86 uh, steering wheel was because it had the buttons and I wanted to keep all of that. And then this one, it doesn't have any buttons. So I really don't have any use for it besides this, the airbag. But I mean, I'm probably going to I'm probably going to change these seats out anyway. Um because they're not comfortable so one thing i learned is just like sitting here i move a lot whenever i was driving at home yesterday i was driving uh going left look going right and i'm moving all over the place like this so basically i was like nah like i need something that hugs me so probably later on in the future i'm not going to say that it's pretty soon but probably later on i'm going to um get uh maybe aftermarket seats and then probably just get um a new steering wheel as well because i mean this is useless basically and i'm probably gonna replace that mirror because you could tell i'm not sure if you can tell it's kind of broken at some pieces or it's just dirty i'm gonna clean it because i haven't even touched it but no i'm actually i'm actually gonna replace it this right here came like that it doesn't have the thing that covers it but i was looking at two other ones and none of them have it so it really doesn't bother me the lights don't work at all and I think in there, I think I don't see a bulb. So all I have to do is put in a bulb. And I already went ahead and ordered the interior lights anyway for this, um, two LEDs. So I'm gonna change that out. And if that doesn't work, then I'm just gonna find out what's going on. Um, it has all these extra stuff because obviously it was a cop car, like that, that, and then this one, of course, and then stuff, whatever that is over here. I, I don't know what went in here, but, um, the radio i'm gonna replace because obviously i'm i'm trying to modernize this car just a bit like you know bring it to 2021 where at least i have bluetooth because that way i can connect my phone i don't listen to the radio so the radio is really not a big deal i'm just gonna go with the cheap radio that you can find uh, at autozone I've, I've seen people do them where they just get them and being honest with you i don't want to spend a lot because uh I'm not sure if you can secure the radios, the aftermarket radios. And if I could and put bolts, then that's great. But I'm not sure if I can do that. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. It kind of smells weird in here because I sprayed a bunch of chemicals. Um, for the window, obviously, I'm going to go and put tent. I hate running, ar uh, driving around in a tank, in a fish tank. So I want to go ahead and uh, get some tent. Probably like 20%, maybe 5 Um uh, five would kind of be pushing it i have five on all my vehicles but at this point i think like 20 is okay on this car it's not gonna for me it's not gonna be a big deal i'm gonna clean the glass here because obviously it has uh, smudges right there right there and then this one right here so yeah ignore all of that that's over there we're, we're cleaning out stuff but um yeah so this is the this is what it looks like those are the back seats um which i kind of like those seats this used to be a constable car, so it was it wasn't like um it wasn't like HPD and you know being uh done for any stuff like that. But it, this was mostly for like schools, like uh, the guy the guy at the school that you know tells you where to go and stuff like that. I mean, they basically that's what this car was for, which is one thing I liked. Um, and I'm just cleaning here, just parts I see. 
uh, I went ahead and took that off, like I said, and painted it. So I'm probably going to have to take this off too. And this one. And just paint the outside of it. Um, just to color match everything. Like uh, that gloss black or whatever color. Because this one had like a weird thing here where it smudges and stuff like that. Kind of like what that has. So I went ahead and sanded it down, took that off, and now I'm painting it. So it's in the back. But yeah, this is a car, man. Honestly... I, I, I love the car. Honestly, I've, this has always been a dream to for me to have a car like this. I'm glad that it's, you know, I just paid it off. I don't have to um, make any monthly payments on it. It's just something that I can daily drive and stuff like that. And if later on I want to get a different car, I can because this one, I don't have any monthly payments on it, which is great. So, yeah, hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. Sorry I haven't been uploading. I know with the, with the car after I supercharged it, I never made a video um the car was great like i said it's just i just never never really filmed anything like it, it was just for me it was just like you know i don't think uh people are interested you know i, I just didn't think that people were interested in keeping watching the channel so i want to see like if if this gets views and stuff then i know you guys are still interested or if i get comments on this saying you want more day more uploads and stuff like that then i'll continue doing it but you got to look at it from my point of view when i look at the views that the that the videos make and they don't make a lot um it's not even 10 percent of my subscribers and it's kind of sad you know and for me it's just i just rather not just there's no point of putting work into it where i don't see any results um and i know that's not how you're supposed to think but ba i i am busy so when it comes to stuff like this i mean i'll push it off to the side i mean it's like i said but if if i see that you know bringing this car into the channel that helps and gets views or whatever it does and people just or people just tell me that they just want to see more content i'll do it you just got to let me know but yeah i mean i hope you guys enjoy the video like i said um great car i love it i love my old car but i got a really good deal this car's paid off i have money left over on the side dude it's just great like you know and here it is so finished product i went ahead and painted the wheels the back one is already done um right now i'm working on a separate pro project so you're probably going to see like mixed videos and stuff but i'm just i'm um, doing something under the hood so i just moved it down so you could get a uh, better view this light works and everything it was just whenever it was uh whenever i turn it around like if i turn it to you know for example over here it would shut off because i'm guessing it wasn't just making a good connection while it was here so i went ahead and um, opened it up through there and i just went ahead and fixed it i'm not sh i have to still test it but that's how the wheels look Does doesn't that look great like look the back ones do they look super clean i like that and um at first i was gonna go and put win window tint but it has some window tint but i'm still gonna go and probably put darker one because i don't like when people can see inside especially since i'm planning on getting a radio i'm sorry you hear dogs you see, i'm telling you i can never make a video here because it's always like loud but yeah i mean that's how the car looks just let me know what you guys think if you liked it and stuff if you if you want to see more of these videos and stuff so yeah i mean uh besides that if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you give it a like it really helps out um spread my video out there and stuff like that but uh yeah if you want to see more make sure to subscribe and i have plenty of things that i want to do to this car so yeah if you want to stay um up to date on what i do with it just subscribe and i guess i'll catch you guys on the next one